question comes in, is it appropriate to perform a baptism for the same person over the course of several different services? The person involved was baptized during a specific baptism event. His testimony was deemed powerful enough to share during the Sunday services about a week later. Each service he gave his testimony and his baptism was repeated. This doesn't seem right. Well, it doesn't seem right for a very good reason. It's not right. Uh, baptism is not a drama. It's not like a play that has repeat performances over and over and over again. It is an ordinance of Christ that is uh, to take place within the worshiping community, the worshiping congregation, the family of faith, and uh, we are then to testify of our baptism, but we don't repeat it over and over and over again. There are two things here I think they are very important. In the New Testament, baptism is not repeated, and the crucifixion of Christ is not repeated. And uh, that means, by the way, that baptism is, is once, one time for all, authentic baptism, believer baptism. And, uh, and that's why we don't believe in the Mass, uh, according to the Roman Catholic teaching, where the crucifixion uh, takes place over and over again, in the sense that the, uh, the body of Christ is transubstantiated in the elements. Uh, that, that's, that's just not what we believe, uh, not what I believe, and not what evangelicals believe. And uh, so I would say, no, the uh, the writer of this question is right. This just doesn't seem right. It doesn't because it's not. I can kind of understand pragmatically why a church would think, boy, this testimony was powerful. Let's let everyone see this. Well, there are all kinds of things we could bring into that. But there's no reason why the testimony should not be given. But uh, it, it looks like this is turning baptism into a play or a baptism into a drama of theater, which it is not and should not be presented to be.